Hi. If in case you missed class today, I want to kind of go over what it is that we're doing in class today. If you take a look, remember when you go to Schoology, that first link on Schoology that you can hit, which is class plans uh, with links, that's what you can hit to kind of find the plan for the school day. So what we're doing in class is we're going to talk about Allegory of the Cave and the Oatmeal Infographic um, that you looked at yesterday. So one of the things that we're going to go over is what exactly is the instructor trying to instruct Glossan on, um, who is like basically takes part in all of Plato's works as the person who is like the student. And so we talk a little bit about the fact that um, there are people who live in two different places. Um, the people who live in the cave believe that the shadows on the wall because they are chained and that's all they can see are the real thing. And sometimes they're released into the world and they see what the real thing is. And then they come back. And when they come back, they are um, actually not believed. And in some cases they are um, hurt by the people who are stuck in the cave. And then even no matter how hard they try to tell people, people don't initially believe them because when they leave the cave, they're blinded right away. And no one believes exactly what the person is saying because they can't see it, right? And then the oatmeal infographic, looked over that, we're going to talk about what that's all about, kind of about like how we react differently to things that don't fit in our worldview. Um, and even when things are proven to us with facts, we have the backfire effect where we don't believe them because they don't fit in our worldview. It's the exact same thing as allegory of the cave, where when we are confronted by things outside of our worldview, we reject it just as those people who are stuck um, in the cave and our prisoners like looking at the shadows on the wall reject the truth. Um, and that makes the idea of truth even something that is, is difficult to prove um, what is true and what is not because perception is reality for a lot of people. So that is going to lead us to that discussion of like how do we confront new ideas, which we're going to in this class, we're going to discuss things that maybe are less comfortable to discuss because I want to hear what you think. I can teach you how to write. I cannot teach you what to think um, when you're writing. So we are going to work as a class to hear each other out and to try to listen to other worldviews and accept them and not attack them right away, but to try to understand them. And that's kind of the whole point of the next two days of class, actually. Um, and then we're gonna talk about bias because um, the word bias gets kind of a bad rap sometimes. So if you click on that link right there, it's going to take you to a um, PowerPoint they're gonna be using in class today asking about bias and how we use the word bias. Um, because some people use it incorrectly, and I want to clear that up right away. The author's bias is clear. The bias in the writing is evident. The author may be biased for or against a topic because. The other thing that I want people to realize is that bias is not necessarily bad. It just colors your worldview. Sometimes it gets a negative connotation, but everybody has a bias because it comes from, which you'll see on the the third slide, it comes from how we are raised in our worldview. And then we're going to ask the question, how does bias keep us in a cave and why we should recognize our own biases? Um, and one of the reasons why we want to recognize our own bias is because our bias is the thing that blinds us. So when we get involved in a conversation, I'm just going to use... Um, Let's see, mask wearing, for example. I am alone in a room right now in our classroom. No one else is in here, so I am not wearing a mask. There are some people who believe that I should not wear a mask all the time. Um, and there are some people who believe that the mask is something that we wear during this time period to protect ourselves and other people from getting sick. So 
whether whatever side I fall on, I have to accept that that is part of my bias, my worldview that makes up what I believe what I believe. I can't let that blind me to the fact that other people may not feel the same way as I do, but I should listen to them not, and I should try to listen to them without judging them, which is really hard to do, and without attacking them, which is also really hard to do. But that's something that we're going to try to do in this class so that we can understand both sides. And speaking of understanding both sides, the thing for your homework and assignment, you're going to click on this link right here, I Side With 2020 Political Quiz, and it's going to take you to this I Side With. Um, you are going to agree to cookies so that you can take the quiz and it's going to take you to a bunch of different questions. You may be someone who knows your political standing. Um, some people are very political and understand that some people are not. Um, this is a way for you to kind of double check your po political standing. And when you get to the end, you will get a screen that has my ballot, like who you should vote for based on your beliefs, my parties and my answers. I want you to screenshot your results in the my parties tab so that you can see, you'll see that it's, you're ranked like so much percent of you votes Republican, so much percent of you votes Tea Party, so much percent of you is independent. And I want you to screenshot those results so that you remember where your bias comes from and which political party you answered that you affiliated with. Okay, while you are taking the quiz, you'll be answering a lot of questions about a topic. So the topic that I want you to, to, I want you to think about those topics and kind of pick one that you feel pretty strongly about. And then you're gonna go on Schoology, I'm gonna jump on Schoology really quickly. And you will see on Schoology that there is an assignment for you off to the right hand side that said I side with topic assignment. And if you click on that, you will see that that assignment is um, a number of questions that you have to answer. What is your topic? What are your views? Um, describe where your views come from. And then I want you to find an article that shows the opposing side of your views and link it on there so that I know that not only do you know your own views, but you also know someone else's view on that. Um, and I want you to be able to have it ready for class um, because we're going to use that to kind of kick off the assignment tomorrow. So make sure you have that done. I think I put the um, due date on that one or the due time for midnight uh, tomorrow night to make sure you have that done. Yeah, Wednesday at midnight, uh, 11.59. So that gives you some time to get it done, but best if you try to get it done before class tomorrow. Okay, I hope that answers all your questions. If you have other questions, please send them to me and I will be happy to answer.